Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Belt. My name is Kelly. I've got a brand new hot water shower system that is gonna absolutely revolutionize the way we conserve water, especially out here in the desert. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And I put up a video every single week all about overlanding. All right, let's get into this awesome new shower. So this is the geyser system. And the geyser system is a hot water shower system that has got a heating element built into it. And it's gonna revolutionize the way we use water. Geyser system claims that you can take a shower with less than one gallon of water. And that's pretty impressive, especially out here in the desert when we typically only carry way less than 10 gallons on a week long trip. So that would be a very, very efficient way for us to actually shower out here while we're overlanding, which we normally don't do. We use baby wipes and that gets us by, but a shower after a hot day is really, really nice. The geyser system comes in two variants, with the heating element and without the heating element. With the heating element is 325 and without it's 260. So mine was 325, so I'm gonna protect it. I went out last night and got myself a good rugged case from Harbor Freight. This is the Apache 4800. I have the Apache rifle case on top of my truck. I've had it up there for a year. These cases for the price are actually awesome. I think this was on sale for like 60 bucks at Harbor Freight, 50 bucks. It's just good insurance for the system to keep it lasting for a very, very long time. All right, let's see what's inside the box. To start off with, the geyser system comes with a really good manual, which is really important. It's good to have all the information and this definitely has everything. There's also a couple cards in here, kind of tips on how to save water, and then for the scrub pads. I'm gonna start least exciting to most exciting. And this is the power cable. Pretty unexciting, however, it's a big run of power cable. I, I like when people have long runs, so you're not having to get extension cords for stuff. This is gonna run you pretty much anywhere in camp you need to go. If you wanna shower away from your vehicle, this will get you there. It's got a flat plug that goes into the geyser system and a cigarette lighter adapter to go into your power. This is the water hose. It's got a quick connect on one end. On this end, it's a push and twist. And this is gonna be the regulator right here. All right, now how good does this thing look? This is, first of all, it's got Toyota colors. You can't go wrong with that. So it, this thing is really, really cool. It's very, very simple. It's very compact. This thing is really, really nicely made. I mean, it just feels quality. All the plastics are solid. This is obviously a, like a high pressure PVC of some sort. I mean, this is just a really, really nice system. All right, the last piece before we use it are gonna be the scrubs or the sponges here. Now, this is where you get your water saving from because the water actually comes out of the sponge itself, which is just, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a really cool innovation. I've never seen anything like this. The really cool thing about these scrubs outside of the innovation on the water coming through them is there's different colors for different jobs. And on the back of the package here, it says green is for her, yellow is for him, and pink is for dishes. Now I'm gonna be honest, my wife is probably gonna want the pink for her, so I don't know if there's a difference in the scrub material itself. I'm hoping it's just a color because she's not gonna be happy about having to use a green pad on herself, but she'll figure it out. This is a scrub pad and this is what's cool about it. You hook this hose into the end of the water hose and the water actually flows through the pad itself. After doing some research, I found out that you actually put your soap onto this pad here, wash yourself, and by the time you're done washing yourself, you should be able to use the same pad to rinse yourself or you can undo this end and just use the water itself to rinse yourself. But this is a really, really cool innovation. Uh, the pad itself has two sides to it. It's kind of has like a soft, regular foam wash pad. And the backside has a little bit more, uh, I don't know, loofah type, where it's kind of more abrasive for scrubbing. So this thing is super cool. All right, let's use this thing. Step one is going to be adding water to the reservoir. One of the things that I really like about this is this awesome carry handle. It just makes holding and filling and carrying this thing around really, really easy. And it's just nice. It's a nice handle.
Right now the power is on, the lid is secured. I wanna have it start to heat up. So I'm gonna flip it into heat mode. One of the things the manual says is if you wanna get a really quick hot shower, if you take a liter of boiling water and add it to the cold water in this, it will immediately be about 90 something degrees depending on your water temperature, which will give you a nice hot shower. Otherwise, the heating element takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to kind of heat this water up. This water is not that cold. It should take about 15 minutes. You can see here with this indicator light that the heating element is on. There's also a safety feature built into this that says if it's over, the best I can see on the directions is between 100 and 13 degrees and above. This will actually shut off because at 130, it'll obviously scald you. However, when this gets to 100 degrees, it will automatically shut the heating element off and then we can clean. To hook up the water hose, it's just a quick insert. To connect the sponge, insert the arrows and then twist opposite. This valve here is what controls the water flow and there's different notches to it. The first notch will give you 15 minutes of steady flow out of the sponge. If you open it up all the way, you got about two minutes until that entire reservoir is gonna be empty. Now that we know how it works, let's put it to use. Let's pull out the kitchen and do some dishes. I'm gonna switch this pad over to the pink one for dishes. I'm gonna switch the toggle from heat to pump. It seems like the pump will run until you get all of the air out of the system. Once I purged all the air, it stopped running and now my sponge is all nice and wet. Let's get it soapy. Do a couple drop of camp suds. And now to rinse it, I'm just gonna take the sponge off. It is a little hard to grab these little butterfly wings with the uh, wet hands. Once you get the sponge off, if you want a little more, looks pretty clean to me. All right, for washing dishes, that was awesome. I'm used to a whole different system that involves a lot of really crappy sponges and a lot of paper towels. And this is by far way more efficient, way better use of water. All right, now for the ultimate test. Can I take a shower with what's left of the reservoir? The water just hit 100 degrees, which is really nice. I was hoping I wasn't have to take a cold shower and it took about 25 minutes and the water going in was probably around 70 degrees. It didn't get very cold last night. All right, how was the shower? It was actually awesome. I don't know how much water I used, but I don't feel like I used a whole lot just looking at the floor and the dirt around me. I made myself a little cedar platform to stand on and uh, it worked really well. I was pretty shocked. The, uh, these sponges are amazing. The back of the sponge having the abrasion, the front of it just being super soft. These are really nice. It was actually a very enjoyable shower. I felt like I really got clean. I didn't just you know, run soapy water over my body like I normally do. These are really, really nice. All right, now let's see how much water I actually use taking the shower. Lid was a little hard to get off because of the suction, but it came off just fine. Oh my God, you guys, I probably have a quarter of the water still left. There is at least a quarter, if not a third of the water left in the geyser system here. I am super impressed. And that I also mentioned that they're made right here in the USA. They're made in Colorado, which is really, really cool. Now, as far as battery draw goes, the geyser system going from whatever temperature the water was, probably 70 degrees up to 100 degrees, it took about 3% of my battery. It went from 81% uh, down to 78%. So it was not a big draw at all, going all the way to 100 degrees. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Everything that I use today will be linked down in the description below. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to subscribe. It does help the channel grow. Follow us on IG and I'll see you guys next time.